CCTV with Aaron Racine following a 4-2 win over St. Louis City in the National League South. Aaron, your thoughts on the game? Um, wasn't at our best, but got a result, which is probably a good sign. Um, it was just uh, some basic, not basic things, but just some things that they improved on first half in terms of like our shape defensively, distances are too big in terms of trying to press them. Um, but credit to them, they dug in, they run all day and got the result. To call it a hectic game would be uh, an understatement. There was a flurry of goals right from the off, I mean, two all within about half an hour of the game. How do you handle that kind of situation where there's so much back and forth between two sides? Yeah, that's the, that's the one thing which I think I wanted to address and I think we've been doing it brilliantly in previous games but like it's about getting into a shape and then pressing together as a team. Um, it's a big picture here, so to try and press on your own and, and to cover distances is going to be hard. So to do it when you're a bit more organised and together um, makes it a lot easier. And we didn't do that in the first half, especially for the, for the first few goals. Um, we were pressing um, the ball from too, far, too big a distances and on top of that we didn't really press well together as a team. Speaking of um, the goals in that first half, the three goals coming in the break, 3-2. Jack Spong getting on the score sheet today. First goal for the Ireland for him, two goals for the club today. How do you feel of his performance? I feel like he was sort of coming to his own a little bit today. Yeah, yeah. Jack's, um, he's one of those players that you can sort of put him in a, a variety of places and he's very versatile, he can do a job. Um, but yeah, I've, I've seen him in, in terms of set plays and how good he is at set plays. So when he took that free kick or when he was stood in front of it, um, I was confident that he, he potentially could at least hit on target and or get a goal and took his second goal brilliantly as well. So a good performance from Jack overall. <coughs> And uh, Brad Dolhan as well, it feels like we're a broken record at this point, bringing him up every week, but he looks so mature for his age as a player and getting the finish that he did today, uh, a seasoned forward finish that was. Yeah, it, the, the, the finish today was probably one of his better finishes, I think, over his six goals he's got so far. I think just because the composure you need in the one-on-one -on -one situation and the, and the confidence to go and do that, and then obviously along, alongside that you need the ability. Um, so to him to, him, him to do that today was brilliant. This puts us up to third in the table as things stand. How massive is that going to be for you guys to have that little bit of an advantage in the playoffs? Yeah, definitely. I think I think everyone knows how important it is. One, because you get the home tie straight away, but secondly, you've also got an extra week of no games. And that'd be important because I think the boys today, they look like they're a bit leggy. Um, it happens this time of year. It's obviously it's still part-time football. People have got jobs and other things outside. So you're going to feel a little bit fatigued this time of year. Um, so finishing second or third is, is important. I think it's worthy of mention as well um, the semi professional nature of the club <coughs> given uh, some of the teams around us being in full time outfits. How would you find competing with that going into the playoffs? Yeah, I think the, the teams that we've um, played this season in terms of full time or that hybrid full time model, I think we've been quite successful against most of the teams. So, I mean, you know, if, if you are full time, it does have a massive advantage, but evidently the teams that are full time in this league. And we haven't given them much advantage going forward. As a day today, a massive crowd coming today, a 40 win. Overall, a fantastic day for the club. How have you felt about the offering? A bit relieved when the final whistle went, uh, just because the, the the style of the game. But yeah, brilliant. And honestly, I didn't really notice the fans in terms of their numbers until at the end. You know, that was actually really. Um, I was really impressed with that. There was um, the whole of the back goal was covered with working fans, which is good. Um, and I think. Hopefully that will go into our next home game next weekend.